Hi, I'm Robert Ridpath, founder of Health Synergy Canada and author of TLC for the Body, Mind and Soul, addressing the underlying causes of chronic illness. Welcome to my Health Mastery Series. This special training video is on sarcopenia, and that means the loss of muscle. And we're going to look at its relationship to your health, your wellness, vitality, and the chronic diseases, diabetes, cardiovascular disease, Alzheimer's, and common issues like weight loss. So when the scientists and the researchers started looking at healthy aging and they looked at different aspects of the body and physiology and so on, they found that there were some core fundamentals and they called them biomarkers that changed with age. These are the measuring stick, if you will, that gives us an indication of how we're aging. They called them biomarkers and they came up with 10 important ones and the top four they called the fantastic four. They are your muscle, your strength, your basal metabolic rate, and your percentage body fat. A couple important points about muscle. Muscle, as I just mentioned, is your number one healthy biomarker. It's the primary spot where you burn fat. It keeps our body warm, uh, it provides stability and flexibility, it protects our bones, it's related to healthy aging, uh, it's the primary source of our metabolism. It drives our metabolism. It's what we associate with youth and it's what we associate with being sexy. And so loss of muscle is related to accelerated aging, sickness, diseases, um, chronic diseases, diabetes, Alzheimer's, cardiovascular disease, and so on. So the big question I've been getting is, what causes sarcopenia? Well, one of the important components that contributes to sarcopenia, the loss of muscle, is lack of exercise and movement. That seems straightforward, but a lot of people miss that point. Another really important component is lack of what's something something's called protein synthesis. Also, poor nutrition, lack of protein, proper nutrients, lack of essential fatty acids, all very important. And also hormones play a role, specifically hormones like growth hormone, which we get when we have deep sleep, testosterone, the male hormone, chronic stress. Chronic stress eats away at your muscle. And you'll we'll find out later on that insulin resistance plays a huge role. So blood sugar management and insulin resistance, very important. And remember too that sarcopenia isn't just the loss of muscle, it's a whole body effect. And what I mean by that is, and why this is important to you is, it's not just your muscle, it's the nervous system, your tendons, your ligaments, the joints, all aspects of your body are influenced by sarcopenia. It's a whole body effect. How important is sarcopenia? But for most of us, if you're over 30, the rate of muscle loss is around 3 to 5 percent per decade. And once you hit the 55 or 60, that process is accelerated and you start losing muscle even quicker. Now why is this important? Well, in our society there are over 60,000 people turning 60 every single day. So please remember, the loss of muscle is associated with accelerated aging, the chronic illnesses, and declining health. Really, sarcopenia, it takes away our health and vitality. How do you know if you have sarcopenia? The gold standard for measuring sarcopenia is a test called the DEXA scan. Many hospitals and a few clinics do this test. It's the gold standard, it takes a little bit of time, relatively expensive, but it is the gold standard and it is the most accurate. However, in the office, in most clinics that I've dealt with over the last 20 years, many clinicians run something called a BIA and that stands for Bioelectrical Impedance Assessment. It's a fast, easy, quick test that can be run and it's highly accurate and the cost, it's just fractions of what a DEXA test is. And it's really quick so it doesn't tie up the clinic and the patient all day. So, in my book called TLC for the Body, Mind and Soul, I wrote and dedicated two full chapters to sarcopenia, the BIA, and the wasting of muscle in these biomarkers. It's a good read and it will give you further information on understanding this situation.
So what's happening in the North American population is we are losing our muscle, that's called sarcopenia, and the loss of muscle is being replaced with fat, obesity. So this is called sarcopenic obesity. This is the skinny fat person. So an important state and it's a big marker that someone is losing a lot of health and vitality. It's vital to understand that the muscle component is lost faster than other tissues and at a more rapid rate. Therefore, when you lose weight, you tend to lose muscle. And unfortunately, this is what most weight loss programs do. They contribute to weight loss, but the weight loss is muscle and very little fat is lost. And this becomes important because many people in our society are gaining and have weight issues and the obesity epidemic is set to ruin our health care system. So many people are trying to lose weight and they may inadvertently be losing muscle instead. So just to quickly review some of the contributors to sarcopenia. Lack of exercise or low intensity exercise, reduced hormone levels, growth hormone and testosterone, poor sleep, again lack of growth hormone, poor nutrition, poor protein synthesis, um, chronic inflammation, and also poor blood sugar management tied into something called insulin resistance. And so this whole insulin picture is very important. One key connection to sarcopenia is insulin resistance. And it's really important to understand how this affects your life. Insulin resistance and the problems with blood sugar precede sarcopenia. This means you have a problem with your physiology and your metabolism before you lose muscle. So that's an, a later stage marker. Therefore, sarcopenia can be used as an early marker that your physiology and your metabolism are out of balance and that you are on the road to the chronic diseases such as type 2 diabetes, cardiovascular disease, Alzheimer's, and so on. If you combine this information in this video with the information from my other video on insulin and how it makes you fat, you start to get a really good understanding and, and a summary, if you will, of the early markers to declining health. These include things like elevated triglycerides, increased cholesterol, increased blood pressure, increased body fat, loss of muscle. And if you combine these with the physical traits such as low energy, fatigue, mood disturbances, hormonal imbalances, and so on, you start to join the dots and see the web of connections and why sarcopenia and the link to insulin and insulin resistance and blood sugar is such an important and vital marker to the loss of health and vitality. So let's look at some solutions because there's a lot of good news in this video as well on what you can do to take control of your health and to reduce sarcopenia. So what can we do to prevent and treat sarcopenia? This is a good news story. Sarcopenia can be slowed and even reversed at any age pretty well. How do we do it? We increase the factors that promote muscle growth and we reduce the factors that inhibit muscle growth or accelerate its loss. An important point to remember is, if you're addressing sarcopenia and treating that, you are in fact addressing the underlying cause to many chronic illnesses because many chronic illnesses are related to sarcopenia and that's great news. So what are the factors that promote muscle growth? Well, as you can guess, exercise and specifically resistance training. This is weights, but it's not the only factor. You should really combine it with aerobic activity because that brings fresh blood, new oxygen, nutrients, and it removes waste product and it helps stimulate muscle growth as well. Good nutrition, very important. You want to make sure you have adequate levels of protein, the essential vitamins and minerals, and those essential fatty acids. Often you've heard them call fish oils, so those are important as well. You want to reduce cortisol because cortisol eats away your muscle. You want to get good deep sleep, that's when growth hormone is released and growth hormone is the uh, fountain of youth hormone. It promotes proper 
growth of the body and you want to make sure you have stable controlled blood sugar levels because that's going to influence insulin as well. You want to reduce sources of inflammation in your body and that could be everything from immune activation in your intestinal tract, chronic viruses, uh, there's a relationship to periodontal disease and inflammation in the gums. So these are some of the things that you can take a look at that promote muscle growth and synthesis. What are the, some of the factors you can reduce that accelerate muscle breakdown and sarcopenia? Well, it's almost the opposite. Um, you want to make sure you get good sleep. You want to make sure you keep your stress down. You want to make sure you don't have inflammation or high amounts of it at least in your body. You want to stabilize blood sugar and so on. So do the opposite to what we just spoke about. That will help reduce the factors that are contributing to this. Another component that you've learned, hopefully from this Health Mastery series, is that insulin turns on an enzyme in your fat cells that takes testosterone and converts it to estrogen. And as you can imagine, testosterone is required to build proper healthy muscle tissue. So what happens is, if you have insulin resistance, if you have increased body fat, your body is converting some testosterone to estrogen, so you can't build proper muscle tissue. In men, for example, what happens is they lose muscle, they lose their libido, they start, start developing secondary sex characteristics of women, their skin softens, and so on. And in women, they just can't accrue new muscle tissue, and their libido's off as well. So monitoring your hormone levels through your lifestyle is a key component to addressing the underlying causes of chronic illness. Throughout this Health Mastery series, three core lifestyle factors I continually talk about. Chronic stress. Stress has an effect on thyroid hormone, testosterone, DHEA, progesterone, and so on. Good quality sleep, because good quality sleep, especially the deep sleep, is when we get growth hormone released, and stable blood sugar and its influence on insulin, because insulin has so many positive and negative effects in our body. Can you see the connection between these big three? Can you see how these lifestyle factors that are under your direct control have a, act as a platform for good health and vitality? That's the message I've been trying to deliver in this video series. In summary, what this means to you and why this information is so vital to know is if you want to lose weight, if you want to feel better, if you want to have more energy, if you want to slow the aging process, if you want to reduce your risk to chronic diseases, you have to understand sarcopenia. You have to understand what your biomarkers are and the importance of muscle. Because when you lose muscle, you lose muscle mass, you lose strength, you lose function. And ultimately, that acts as a platform for health and vitality. Added to that, if you lose muscle, you tend to replace it with fat. So sarcopenia is related to many of the chronic diseases. Cardiovascular disease, diabetes, metabolic syndrome, Alzheimer's, etc. And it's the lifestyle factors that are under your direct control that promote or reverse sarcopenia. Many weight loss programs contribute to sarcopenia. If you've gone on weight loss programs, this is something to address. It's very important you get tested for how much muscle is on your frame. You can get this done by the gold standard which is the DEXA test, or a more practical in-office test that's very inexpensive called the BIA. I've covered a lot of material in this video. You might want to watch it again or take some notes. And if you feel it's been beneficial, please share it with others. I've also put a summary on my website www.healthsynergy.ca slash downloads where you can go and download a summary of sarcopenia and what to do to prevent it. My name's Robert Ridpath. This is my Health Mastery Series. I hope this helps you and serves you well and allows you to live a happier, healthier, more fulfilling life. Bye for now.